You're gonna make a bad choice. I promise you, you're gonna make a million of them. When you make a bad choice, own it. Own that mistake and make it right. What if you don't make it to college because you make a bad decision before you graduate? This is a field trip for them, but I call this a classroom. I call this AP Life. Part of the program involves the students in a mock car stop. It was joking, sitting in the car, the big car, and having like cops come and actually arrest you. They brought the canine dog out, and that's when everybody was like, wow, like this isn't really a joke. Like, this is definitely a life lesson. At the end of the program, by the time we're all said and done, we close on a sad note. The students see people go to jail sometimes. It's emotional, but part of that raw, pure, genuine emotion is part of the, the hook for the students. We want to demystify the judiciary, the court, courtroom, the courthouse. We want to bring the students in, let them see it. And we want them to ask questions of the officers about, what do I do on a stop? Or why is it that you get searched my car? There's all kinds of roles in this judiciary that we can provide them opportunity to see not just the lawyers, not just the judges, but the opportunity to see everything and everybody. We have firefighters, EMTs, who are also close in age. It's students, it's their peers, the residents of our county, graduates of our high schools. We're talking to them about real life situations. It stops you before you make a mistake. So if they prevent a mistake and you're like, all right, this is not where I wanna be, this is not where I see myself, that could change a lot of people's lives. Those small choices they make, the friends they hang out with, have big, huge impacts. The best thing, most fulfilling thing of my job as a judge is the impact that I have, that we have with the students in schools and court. I didn't come to graduation, football, soccer, baseball, lacrosse, play, musical. I'll be in the stands cheering for you. But you have to be alive for me to come. I tell the students, this is just our part-time job. My full-time job, raising my three kids. Our families care about these families and these kids, and we tell them that on a regular basis. That makes a difference, and that's most gratifying for me.